Hello, I'm Dr. Michael Kohler, and this is Thad, who works for Loyola as one of our standardized patients. The purpose of this training video is to introduce first-year medical students to taking blood pressure and assessing pulse, and also introducing you to the steps of the cardiovascular examination, as well as reviewing some surface anatomy relevant to the cardiovascular examination. And of course, before we begin any exam, we always wash our hands, so I'm first going to wash my hands. Let's first review the four factors that influence arterial blood pressure. First, there's left ventricular stroke volume. Second, there's this distensibility of the large vessels and the aorta. Third, there's peripheral vascular resistance. And finally, fourth, blood volume. A change in any one of those four factors will influence the arterial blood pressure, whether it's systolic or diastolic. When assessing pulse, we normally use the radial pulse at the level of the wrist. It's superficial to the radial bone and lateral to the flexor tendons which can be identified if you have the patient uh, flex their wrist. By placing again the pads of your fingers just lateral to the flexor tendons you can palpate the radial pulse. By simply counting the pulse for 15 seconds and multiplying by 4 you get the beats per minute. If you're unable to assess pulse at the radial level you can also assess the pulse in the antecubital fossa by assessing the brachial artery. If you ask the patient to make a muscle, you can identify the biceps tendon, and then when they relax, just put your fingers pads medial to the biceps tendon, and you can identify the brachial artery and take the pulse there. Finally, you can also assess pulse uh, by assessing the carotid artery in the lower third to lower half of the neck by simply placing your finger pads just medial to the sternocleidomastoid muscle. You'll note when you take the pulse, the asymmetry of the pulse, uh, when you're assessing radial artery pulse between the right and the left side, there should be a symmetry and you should feel bo both pulses simultaneously. You'll also again note the rate, what's the beats per minute, and you'll note the rhythm. You'll try to determine if the rhythm is regular, or if the rhythm is irregular. If the rhythm is irregular, you'll try to determine if there are any pattern to the irregularity. Is it sporadic or is it uh, totally um, irregular? And by that I mean is every third beat come early? Is there a pattern? Or is there a pattern that the irregularity varies with respiration? Does the pulse speed up with inspiration and slow down with expiration? Or finally, is there no pattern whatsoever, in which case the pulse would be irregularly irregular, and that's always an indication of atrial fibrillation. If the pulse is irregular, you need more than 15 seconds uh, timing to assess the pulse. In fact, if you're not sure, you may need to check the pulse for a full two minutes.